Today we are going to discuss provision leading to significant beneficial owner. As we are aware, this rule has came into June 2018. Then amendment rule came latestly in February 2019. We are getting lot of queries on the SBO from the corporate worlds and the professionals. The major thing, the first thing for this provision, what is meaning of significant beneficial owner? Before discussing the meaning of significant beneficial owner, I would like to discuss three terms. First, what is the meaning of the registered owner? Second, what is the meaning of the beneficial owner? Third, what is the meaning of beneficial interest? First, that is registered owner. Registered owner is a person who may be or may not be owner of the share. But his name shall be entered into the register of member as member in a simple word. And second, beneficial owner. Beneficial owner is a actual owner of the shares, but his name is nowhere mentioned in the register of member. Third is a beneficial interest. What is the beneficial interest? Beneficial interest is an interest which a person is getting become a, because he is a member of the company like right of bonus share, right of right issue shares, dividend. So beneficial interest is entitled to taken by the beneficial owner only. Registered owner is not entitled to take the beneficial interest. So we have discussed the three terms. Second, now what is the checks for the specified beneficial owner? How we can check whether a person is SBO or not? First check, SBO can be individual only. Other than individual, no one can be an SBO. Second check, that individual, whether directly or that indirectly should hold at least 10% shareholding or voting right in the company. As for the latest amendment, that individual should hold indirect shareholding along with direct shareholding of at least 10% of stake in the company. Third, we have discussed two words, direct shareholding and indirect shareholding. For the whole SBO rule, these two words are the crucial point. First, we will discuss direct shareholding. Direct shareholding are divided into the two parts. First, if a person is the actual owner of the shares and his name enter into register of member, then it shall be considered as a direct shareholding. Second, if a person is a beneficial owner of the share, but name of other person has been entered into register of member as a registered owner, then this is also shall be considered as a direct shareholding. So, whether a person holding share directly or through beneficial interest, it will be considered as a direct shareholding. Now, second is the indirect shareholding. Indirect shareholding can be through body corporate, can be through trust, partnership firms, HUF. In case of a body corporate, in case of a body corporate, if there is a shareholder, other body corporate as a member, for an example, there is a company A Limited. And member of A limited is a B limited. In that case, if an individual holding majority stake in the B limited and B limited is holding shares in the A limited, in that case, that individual person shall be SBO for A limited. I will discuss with this an example. For an example, Mr. A hold 35% share in Q limited. And Q limited hold 25% shares in P limited. Third, A, Mr. A also hold 25% share in P limited. So in this example, Mr. A holding share directly in P limited and indirectly also in Q limited. Whether Mr. A shall be considered as SBO? Let's, let's try our checks. First check, Mr. A is individual. Okay. Second, holding of more than 10% of share. So he is holding more than 10% of share. Second check is also okay. Third, he must have hold majority stake in the body corporate. Mr. A is holding only 35% share in the Q limited. He is not holding majority stake in the Q limited. So he is out of the preview of the indirect shareholding. So he will not consider SBO in this example. So this type of question we are getting from many professionals like Mr. A is a beneficial owner. Mr. B is a registered owner. Holding 30% shares in XYZ Limited. So Mr. A, whether Mr. A shall be considered as SBO? No, Mr. A shall not be considered as SBO because Mr. A holding share directly as per the direct shareholding definition of the new SBO rules. 
Hope I have solved all the queries and my video is useful for discussion on the SPO. Thank you.